Okay, we have Mystic Malcolm in the studio. How do you, Malcolm? And today he's going to treat us to a tea leaf reading. Uh, we also have Mabel with us, and she's kindly volunteered to be Malcolm's subject in this session, which is exclusive to Wolfman Radio. And to enhance the accuracy of this reading, Mabel is going to drink the tea live on air. Yes, you heard it correctly. Live tea drinking, only here on Wolfman Radio. Mabel is due back any moment now with some tea that she's just popped down to the staff canteen to brew. Uh, so it's over to you, Mystic Malcolm. Thanks, Lloyd. Let me just start by explaining to your listeners out there how this works. After the tea has been drunk, the dregs, by which I mean the leaves... Settle into a pattern in the bottom of the cup, and the kind of pattern that they formed is determined by future events and even things that may be hidden in the present. Oh, wow, uh, Malcolm, uh, that really is powerful. Yes, indeed it is, like. Ah, here's Mabel now with the tea. Uh, sit yourself down on there, love. No, not there, the chair. Oh, we've got biscuits too. Uh, do tuck in, Malcolm. Ah, oh, cheers, like. Uh, damn on if I do. Oh, custard creams, I'll have one of them. Put that there for later. Now, Mabel. If you could pick up your cup, Loy, if you could just move that microphone a little bit closer to Abel so that we can catch this live on air. That's it. Okay, Abel, in your own time. Uh, here we go, folks. This is tea drinking live here on Wolfman Radio. Okay, when, when, when you're ready, Mabel, uh, yeah, go on, uh, have a biscuit if you want, but uh, whatever you do, don't dunk it in your toys. It may corrupt the reading. Okay, I, I think she's ready. Here we go. Mabel is now going to drink the tea. <laughs> Mm. Boston, that was. Uh, uh, how was that, Loy? Did the mic pick it up? Yes, uh, all, all good, Malcolm. Uh, we got that. It's so uncouth, Mabel. Right, now, if you could give me a cup, please, Mabel. Carefully, that's it. Now, let's see what we got. Hmm, interesting. Do you know, I've been reading Toulouse for over 30 years now, and I've never seen anything quite like this. And you know how much I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I'm afraid I have to tell you, Mabel... Brace yourself, love, that the future looks really bleak, and I mean totally bleak. I just can't see anything positive. In fact, I can't see anything at all. Hang on, you didn't use tea bags, did you? Ah, oh, flipping heck, Mabel. I can't tell your fortune if you haven't brewed the tea in a pot. That's throwing the whole reading, that has. Well, um, uh, hold, hold on a bit, minute, Malcolm. Uh, maybe we can salvage something here. Um, what if we split the tea bag open and dump the contents into the cup? Well, I suppose that might work. It's never been done before, but we can give it a go. Wouldn't mind popping back to the canteen uh, and fishing it out the bin, Mabel. That's it, off you go, love. Look, while she's gone, though, I hope you don't mind. I'd just like to ask your listeners, especially any who happen to live in the Tipton area, to keep their eyes peeled for a crystal ball. Uh, while I was doing some fortune telling uh, at the fun fair a while ago, I just popped out briefly for a leak and got back to see this kid come out of the tent with my crystal ball in his hands. And then he spotted me returning, tucked it under his arm and legged it with his mates. And that was the last I saw of it. It's been with family generations, you know. I'll tell you all about his history one day. Well, I, I is Mabel now. OK, love. Now, are you sure that that was your tea bag? OK, good. This needs to be done by your hand and your hand only. And, and, and no, I don't mean that. Here, take these scissors and cut the bag. Now, wait a minute. Look, look, try to get it all in the cup. That's it. That's it. OK. Well, you got some in there anyway. It'll be fine. Right. Let's see what we've got now. Hmm. Right. Have you got any uh, romantic goings on at the moment, Mabel? Uh, uh, hold on. No, I don't think we want to go there, do we? Eh, hey, like, hey, But But wait. There, there, there is a man. Yes, I can definitely see a man. Uh, and he drives a bus. Have you been anywhere lately, Mabel? Oh, you, you took a couch trip to Blackpool last week, did you? And that could be Jim, could it? Well, I could see that Jim has found something of yours. Did you lose anything while you were there? Your teeth? Oh, well, that must be it there, Mabel. Jim, the bus driver, who took you to Blackpool last weekend, must have found your teeth on the bus. Contact the bus company, and I'm pretty sure they'll put you through to their lost property department. Ah, oh, you didn't lose them on the bus. You lost them in the hotel. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we should delve any deeper into this <laughs> uh, mystery. Right. Uh, I think I'm going to call that a, a day, there, Lee. Uh, how was that? 
Uh, well, <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, I never thought uh, that much, so much insight could be found in the bottom of a teacup. Uh, thank you much indeed for that, Malcolm, and uh, thank you too, Mabel. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Tea leave reading live on Wolfman Radio, and I'm sure that Mystic Malcolm will return again soon uh, for another demonstration of his incredible powers of foresight. Mm-hmm. 